Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of The Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So Mark Lamont Hill of The Grio made a case to the black voter to go to the booth to reclaim our power during the midterm elections. He said that yes, the ancestors died for our right to vote, but they also died for us to use our voice to obtain freedom. But he also says some other things, check it out. But it's part of the strategy because when you don't do it, our open enemies win. When you don't vote, the people who are committed to obstructing justice, the people who are committed to closing our schools, the people who are committed to incarcerating our babies, the people who are committed to taking away your reproductive justice, their reproductive freedoms, uh, all of it is gone when you don't vote. You see, Roland Martin said this earlier, other people say it all the time, Republicans don't win because they got more people who agree with them. They win by the margin of black people who don't vote. They win by the margin of young people that don't vote. They win by the margin of college students that don't vote. They win by the margin of people who are catching hell in this country, but feel like the process won't serve them. So as you heard him say that, you know, our open enemy, they're, they're out there. And he also brought up that of Roland Martin saying that Roland Martin is right. That when black people don't vote, young people don't vote and college people don't vote, it leaves a margin wide enough so Republicans can go in and I guess take office is what he was getting at. And so it's like, yeah, that is probably very true. But did anybody ask why are black people, young people and college people not wanting to go vote and exercise our voices of freedom? It's probably because we are disenfranchised. As y'all also heard him say, yes, y'all are, we are catching hell, but we need to go to the booth and then organize and do all this other stuff. But it's like, well, we've been doing that for a long time since before the civil rights movement held in the 1870s. After slavery, we were organizing and voting and holding offices and stuff. And here we are in 2022, nothing has changed for black people. And so when I listen to Mark Lamont Hill and vote that of Roland Martin, talking about if y'all don't go vote, the Republicans are going to get in. I hear the boogeyman tactics. All the Republicans are the boogeyman. And yes, they are to some degree. They are doing some horrible things. And I'm not saying that they're the best option. That's what I'm not saying. But I'm saying is the Democrats, if you want black people to go vote for you, then give black people a reason to go vote. It's really that simple. And I'm going to keep repeating that. It's a give and take. You want our vote? Then what are we going to get for it? Our vote should be for sale and that's crazy that they don't think it should be. Like we should just keep lining up, go on the vote and get nothing. So again, yes, we know we're catching hell. We'll probably catch more hell when the Republicans get in there, but the Republicans don't rely on the black vote like the Democrats do. So if you want us to help you stay in office, then help us help you. We want to check. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.